gardening tips to avoid fungus during summer. Most of us are ready to invest huge amount for landscaping and gardening to give facelift for our home. But we failed to prune when the plants needed it, and then your highly invested landscape looks terrible than ever. So this is a high time to know about the gardening tips for better maintenance. Do follow the following gardening tips for better life of your garden. Gardening tips for pruning. As we discussed in the introduction, pruning plays an important role in the garden maintenance. If you commit any mistake while pruning, don't lose your heart because it's like a bad haircut, it is going to grow again. Avoid watering in the evening during summer, you may experience high humidity, which might result in lot of problems in your garden. To get your plants nice and dry, tuck them in for night. In addition to this watering in the evening may be avoided to prevent damage to the plants. Get rid of powdery mildew Powdery mildew is the common fungus mostly affects your ornamental plants. This will create white film on the leaves of the plants in your garden. Even other ornamental plants such as sand cherry and dogwoods are also getting affected with this fungus. Efficient gardening is necessary to curtail the growth of this fungus. You can easily prevent this by spraying general fungicide in the garden center. Prevention of Pythium blight If you're in the north and also having perennial rye grass, then you ought to be very careful not to leave your grass wet at night. A dreadful fungus called Pythium blight may take its upper hand, if you leave your lawn wet in the night because this fungus love to grow in high humid condition mostly, in the night. Pythium blight can easily be seen in the early morning. You can easily appreciate the fungus on the top of the lawn as white cotton candy. You can easily notice this fungus mainly along driveways and walks, where the soil is moist. Pythium blight can easily be controlled by watering in the day at the earliest possible time. Fire blight Fire blight, yet another culprit prefers to grow well during summer than any other season. This fungus prefers to attack pyracantha, cotoneasters, crabapple trees, and apple trees. The presence of fire blight can easily be visualized once the any one of the branches of the plant turns red and dies. This fire blight can be prevented little by pruning the affected branch and removing it from the main plant as far as possible. It is also important that the cut branches should be burnt since fire blight is contagious and also wash or dip the projected shears by using alcohol in order to prevent the spread of the deadly fungus to other parts of the branch. Shotgun fungus a little gem-like fungus, which prefers to grow in mulch and tends to swell, has been termed as shotgun fungus. This fungus can fly up to 8 feet in the air and will spatter your house with tiny brown specks and once they stick to your house or windows, they stick like glue. Most of us suspect the spiders and aliens for this tiny brown speck. You can prevent this fungus, but can do something by keeping the mulch loose so air can circulate inside to keep this fungus out. Although mulch is great, don't allow them to get packed, try to remove it at least once in a year and also rake it flat as if it will look like you've just mulched. Like, subscribe and follow.